guys, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we are going to hunt invasive lionfish off West Palm Beach. And we're gonna be scuba diving in about 100, 120 feet of water. As Kiki mentioned, these fish aren't native to Florida. They're very bad, but they're also very delicious. So we're gonna show you guys how we catch them and how we cook them. So we cleaned up the reef and we got a couple lionfish. There was a lot of them, well, a good handful of them on the first dive, probably like a half a dozen. So um, that's what we got. They're all like deeper. We were about 90 feet of water. Um, while they look very pretty, these guys are bad. I don't have any predators here in Florida. They come from the Indo-Pacific, so they're invasive here and they just basically eat everything here. And they compete with the natural fish that we have here, grouper, snapper. These fish will eat up the prey that they eat too. So they're a real nuisance. Um, they spread really fast, they breed really fast. So it's really important that we, that we kill them. They're also very tasty too, which is a good thing about it. They have these spines here. So the pectoral spines and these long dorsal spines here are venomous. 
so if they prick you it's very very painful it's not lethal but very painful so we just avoid those but otherwise if you just fillet it like a normal fish uh, it's a delicious white meat one of the best tasting fish you can eat so we're gonna make a little ceviche out of this one so the good thing about scuba diving is we're able to go a little bit deeper versus than free diving. So all these lionfish, they've been migrating to the deeper ledges. We were in about 90 to 100 feet um, and we saw a lot of these guys. So they're, they're moving deeper. So um, it's nice that we can have some tanks to help get us down there and clean up the reef. <laughs> we're getting ready to make a ceviche with the lionfish. And uh, it's Thanksgiving week and it's coronavirus right now, so the grocery store's a little crazy. So uh, we're just gonna find whatever we've got in our fridge and our garden. So we're gonna start here. This is a little herb that's called shadow benny, or some people call it culantro. It's a popular herb in the Caribbean, uh, kind of like cilantro. So we're just gonna take one of these leaves. Pretty strong, so one will do the trick. So here's our ingredients for our ceviche. We got from our garden a little shadow benny, culantro, some green onions, and from the fridge we've got some fresh bell peppers, some lemon, red onion, garlic, jalapeno. And we have also some lime and ginger essential oil. So basically this is just super concentrated uh, lime and ginger. So we didn't have any limes in our fridge. So we're gonna substitute with a little essential oil, which will give it a great flavor. Um, like I said, it's very concentrated, so we only need a little bit, maybe a drop or two, uh, to give us a good flavor, and it saves us on, on chopping it up. And then our last ingredient here is our lionfish, super white, delicious flaky meat here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix all this up, we're gonna chop it up, mix it up. The lemon and lime, the citrus will essentially cook this meat so it'll go from this translucent color here into a nice white kind of opaque color so here we go so the lionfish is almost fully cooked you can see it's getting white the lemon juice is cooking it so now we're going to add the other ingredients we just kind of eyeballed it just went by feel Some onion jalapeno garlic, chai from the garden, shadow benny, Beautiful, honey. <laughs> now we'll put it to the fridge to chill. Get a full fridge. <laughs> All right, so here's the finished product here. It's been marinating for about two hours. I'm going to take the first taste test. Mm. Fantastic. Thanks for watching our video and subscribing to our channel. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, let us know in the comments. And if you guys want to participate, help out with this lionfish problem we have here, uh, check out the comment section of this video. We're going to put some helpful links down there. And uh, just one more reminder, guys, always dive safe and never dive alone.